Why play Poppy Top? Well, she's incredibly tanky. She hard counters champions who rely on dashes, she puts out surprisingly good damage, and she's strong at all stages in the game. However, her engage can be interrupted or dodged by blinks, and she can struggle against some of the ranged top laners who will be able to kite her. Poppy's passive makes her next attack become ranged, where she throws her buckler out, which will bounce onto the floor. This can then be picked up to gain a good shield, or if it kills a unit, it will automatically return to her. However, an enemy champion can stand on it to destroy it. Poppy's Q slams the ground dealing damage and leaves an area on the floor. This area slows enemies and will erupt after one second, dealing the damage again. Poppy's W has a passive where she gains 10% armor and magic resist, which is doubled when she's below 40% health. The active gives her a large amount of movement speed and creates a zone around her. This zone will instantly interrupt any enemy which dashes into it. And when a champion's dash hits it, they are grounded, slowed, and take damage. This is such a hard counter to a number of champions that rely on dashes like Lee Sin and Zack. Poppy's E is a point and click ability which targets an enemy dealing damage and pushing them back. If they are pushed back into terrain, they take the damage again and are stunned for a good amount of time. Poppy's ultimate is a charged ability where she winds up her hammer for 4 seconds, slowing herself while doing so. Upon release, Poppy creates a shockwave which damages the first champion hit and nearby targets, and absolutely launches them towards their base. The range of the shockwave and knockback distance is increased with the duration of the charge. Also, the ultimate can just be clicked, and it will deal less damage and knock them up for a smaller amount of time, but it won't launch them back towards their base. For combos, use W to speed yourself up if needed before slamming them in the direction you need or into terrain. Follow this up with auto attack into Q, auto attack into tapping your ultimate, and then another auto attack. For matchups, Poppy does great into champions who rely on dashes for their engage. However, she can struggle against fighters that don't rely on dashes and can out-trade her. For runes, take this. With her passive, she procs grasp incredibly easily. For build order, start corrupting potion into tier 2 boots and a divine sunderer. After this, a sunfire and force of nature are great pickups before finishing a build with any of these as needed. For skill order, start Q then E then W before maxing Q then E then W, taking ult whenever you can. For summoner spells, take flash and teleport. Starting the game, you're looking to farm hard and pressure your opponent. If you're against a melee opponent, every time they go to farm, use Q on them. And if you're able to combine this with an empowered auto attack, it's great poke and makes farming far more awkward for them, and it has the added bonus where it lets you push your wave while poking. When looking for trades, if they're ever against terrain, go in with your E. This will enable your very easy double Q to go off, which is a ton of damage. Otherwise, with your great stat, you do well in extended fights. So keep spamming out damage and wait for the opportunity to pin them into that wall. Entering the mid game, you're not bad at split pushing, so take your tower as soon as possible and then look to get pressure. After you've pushed it past safely, either back off and group with your team, or if you have the pressure, keep pushing and then teleport your team as needed. Entering late game team fights, you can play as your teams engage. If you can start any fight by slamming an enemy champion into the wall, between your solid damage and your team's great follow-up, you can simply remove them from the fight. Or you can simply play the tanky frontline stopping anything from getting to your backline. The fact that you stop jumps and can knock a single champion away, is just going to keep all those carries behind you incredibly safe. But one of the most game-changing abilities in the game is Poppy's ultimate. If you can knock away some of their backline, it leaves the frontline with no damage. And if you can knock away the frontline, this leaves their backline completely exposed. If you're able to combine your ultimate with your team's engage, you will get incredibly easy fights every time. But of course, Poppy's ultimate is incredibly versatile. So you can tap it as part of your combo, or launch away any assassin going for your team's backline.